Hey, it's Apollo. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Kayla, and today I am bringing you guys six outfits for spring. Hey guys, hello, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. Like I said, my name is Kayla and today the plan is to share with you guys six different outfits for the springtime. This weekend marked the first official day of spring, even though where I live, it's sort of been on and off feeling like spring and winter. Like we had some 70 degree days and then the next day it snowed, but that's just how it works where I live. But it is officially spring. I wanted to bring you guys some spring inspiration if you will, as we head into this season, this new season. In the springtime, I generally tend to lean a little bit more into like vibrant colors and pastel colors. I play with the cottage core aesthetic all year long, but I play with it a little bit more in the spring and summer. So that is definitely gonna be reflected here in this collection of outfits. So if you guys are excited for some cottage core inspiration, plus more, it's not just all cottage core, um, but there's definitely, you'll you'll see like the definite cottage core inspiration in this one. Stick around. If you guys like these kinds of videos, don't forget to subscribe down below. It is totally free and I'll let you know when I upload new videos, which is every single Wednesday. I upload fashion related content every single week, whether it's a styling video, a thrifting video, an aesthetic exploration video, etc, etc. We do all things fashion all the time here. Anyway, I think that's really all I have for you. So without continuing to blabber on, let's head right on in. Okay, so up first we have an outfit that I would wear just on a regular day for me. This is like a Monday through Friday kind of outfit. So starting from the bottom as we do, first things first I have on my Converse. These are just my white Converse. I thrifted them on Poshmark a few years ago and I, I love them. They're a great basic, they're classic and they're just simple they're comfortable i love them moving up i have on this midi skirt it is just black with this creamish tan color like a sand color almost floral print this i call my 90s mom skirt i thrifted this at the goodwill a few weeks ago and i just adore it i think it's so cute it's the perfect length it fits really well it does come with a belt but the belt is a little bit tight so i just wasn't wearing it because it wasn't just as comfortable as i wanted it to be but the belt does look very cute with the skirt then i paired the skirt with just a basic white t-shirt and a cream sweater vest so the t-shirt is actually just a graphic tee that i got from seeker and slade which is like a small harry potter merch company they make like independent harry potter merch obviously you can't see the graphic but i'm using it because it's just white and then over top i have this cream tan color sweater vest that i thrifted on poshmark this is like a tried and true look for me and the whole t-shirt and sweater vest thing is becoming something i wear a lot more recently so i really really love that for accessories i kept it pretty simple i just went for my little pearl earrings and then i went for my little deer necklace i love this deer necklace so much it's from camp hollow and i actually lost it for two years it was missing and over the weekend i actually lost something else because basically half of my life is in gort's house from halloween town um <laughs> but this is my little deer necklace that i got for christmas a few years ago it's from camp hollow it's just a tiny little porcelain necklace it's just adorable if you can afford one of their necklaces i cannot recommend them enough I, they're like maybe 30 40 dollars so for something that's from a small business pretty affordable actually up next this is sort of my studio ghibli kind of vibe this is an outfit that i would also wear on like an everyday day minus the shoes i don't always wear my heeled oxford just because i'm a wimp and heels are not like my favorite thing to walk in um, but this gives me all the studio ghibli vibes in the world i think it's literally just the hat but it really does so for this look we'll start from the top since i already mentioned the hat i have on this little straw hat that has a little bow on it i got this hat at kohl's actually it's from the lauren conrad brand i bought it last summer and i wear it all the time i paint a lot outside in the spring and summer 
and so I wear it all the time when I'm outside painting on my easel. Also gardening is great for gardening. It protects you from the sun. Then moving down as for accessories, I have on this necklace here. This is just a pearl chain necklace. It's half freshwater pearls on one side and half gold chain on the other and it has a front closure. This I got from Canelli Accessories. That is just a small business. She's based in Latvia, I believe. And I love everything I have from her. I have this necklace and a pair of earrings and they're just such high quality so beautiful as for earrings again i'm sorry guys i know this is gonna happen a lot but i just made these earrings they're little dangle earrings with roses on them i make most of my earrings not all of them but most of them and a lot of my jewelry really is just me made because i'm very particular about my jewelry as for my rings one of them is from a harry potter candle and it is just like a ring with a big red stone and two small yellow stones. It's meant to be like the Gryffindor ring. And the other one is from Alex and Annie. I got it from my brother for Christmas. This dress is stunning. It is just this cream colored dress with a very ditzy, dainty floral on it. And it has this incredible lacy collar on it and the pearl detailed buttons. The buttons are not functioning, but they're very cute and like a great sort of accessory to them. There's also a tie in the back, which makes the dress super flattering. This dress is so cute. It's just flowy and adorable. And I think it looks beautiful. And I'm just really, really happy with this. I thrifted it at the Goodwill a couple of weeks ago as well. And I love it. I'm so excited to finally get to wear it. It's been sitting in my closet for a couple of months because it's been winter and I am just so excited to finally get to wear it and finally my shoes like I was saying before these are from Charlie Stone shoes and I just think they are such beautiful shoes there are Oxfords unfortunately they don't sell these anymore but they do have a ton of shoes that are just gorgeous and wonderful and I'll leave their site linked down below up next we have this little number here we are back to the converse because as i said comfortable and i'm all about comfort these days and then with my converse i just have on this tan it's like a caramel or camel color and white gingham print dress it's a midi dress i got this at target maybe two years ago now um and it is just such a lovely dress it fits really well it's got a sweetheart neckline and a little tie in the front. It's spaghetti strap, so super versatile, great for layering. This time, instead of layering something underneath it, which I often do, I love wearing like either thin sweaters or t-shirts underneath this dress, I decided to go with my little toadstool mushroom cardigan. This is just a little sweater that I got on Etsy. The seller is just incredible. She actually worked with me to customize the sweater to like the colors that I actually wanted. And it is just so beautiful. It's a one of a kind piece that I'm so, lucky to have i feel very blessed to have it um and i'll leave her shop link down below she does a ton of different designs not just the toadstool mushrooms she also has like clouds and flowers and things like that and i just absolutely adore this sweater i think it's so so pretty for accessories i have on my mushroom gardens earrings that of course i made <laughs> and again i put on my camp hollow deer necklace which i again adore very much and then i also have on just like a little red hair clip again i did make this but these are so accessible you can find them everywhere moving on wow i'm realizing how much of my stuff i actually make and honestly it's making me very proud of myself <laughs> Like so many of my favorite things are me made and that makes me feel really good. Okay, so for this outfit, I have on my Charlie Stone shoes again. I just felt like they were the perfect shoes for this very cottagecore outfit. For the bottom half of this outfit, along with my Charlie Stone shoes, I also have on this gingham pinafore skirt. I actually made this skirt thinking about fall, but it's a beautiful sort of yellow and orange gingham and those colors are also super springy and sunflowers and daisies and buttercups and all of that stuff really work with like the oranges and yellows and i feel like orange and yellow are two of my favorite colors so if i'm gonna you know if i want to wear it in the spring this is like a perfect way to do it so this is a pinafore skirt that i did in fact make i got the fabric at joann's in case you were wondering um as for the shirt this is just a peter pan collared shirt it's actually a really interesting collar it's a, a layered collar with a lace bit underneath and then a embroidered sheer part on top and it's 
really beautiful. The shirt is cream and then the collar is layered with like a white lace and then the cream sheer chiffon material over top. I really love this shirt. I love the details and like the pleating and the buttons and the layered collar. I think it's so delicate and beautiful and very cottage court. Also has like these really beautiful clasps on the wrists, which I think look very pretty and vintage. Four earrings I have on my Kalani accessories earrings these are just freshwater pearls on gold posts and then i also have a little orange bow in my hair and again my dear necklace i didn't realize how many times i wore it i guess i was really excited that i found it On to the next look, I have another very cottage core feeling look, I think. So for this outfit, I just have on, again, my Converse, super comfortable, really versatile shoes. And then with those shoes, I have on this denim overall dress. So I thrifted this, man, many, many moons ago. Um, and it is just one of my favorite dresses to wear all year long. I've actually paired tights or pants underneath this dress in the colder months so that I can actually wear it because it's just so comfortable and it's so easy. You just throw it on, you move along with your day and you're good to go, you know? So this time around, I just have a pair of bike shorts on underneath. I wear bike shorts under all of my dresses and skirts because I do have thicker thighs so they do rub together and chafing sucks. So I just have a pair, I have a couple of pairs actually of wild fable bike shorts they're honestly my favorite ones are the only ones i really like then i also have on this brown little belt i actually got this at walmart when i was back in college so this is again probably like five years old and this is just a good go-to you can find a good basic brown belt really anywhere you can thrift them you can find them at target walmart more sustainable stores whatever floats your boat then underneath that i have on the one and only thing i ever purchased on depop <laughs> This turquoise top is so cute. I absolutely love it. It did take a while to come and it, there were a couple of stains on the shirt when it came, but luckily my dad and I were able to get the stains out. So I was really happy with that, but the shirt is just so beautiful. It's this really lovely sheer material. It's got a little bit of plumage in the sleeves. Um, the shirt is a little bit oversized on me, but I actually don't mind how that looks at all. And then it has this really adorable silk collar and the silk collar has embroidered flowers on it that are yellow and sort of like that teal mint green kind of color or turquoisey mint green kind of color. And I just think it's so cute. I do have my hair up in half up, half down. And then as for earrings, I just have on these little ones that I bought at a farmer's market a couple of years ago. And I just think they're really cute. They're nickel free, lead free and all of that stuff. And I really, really like them. Unfortunately, I don't know the name of the seller, but these kinds of earrings are just like wire earrings you can really find anywhere. And I just thought they were cute. They played with the motif of the flowers on the collar and they also tied in with the blue of the rest of the outfit. Okay, and finally, starting from the bottom, I have on these pointy toe caramel brown booties. These are from Target. I got them during Black Friday sales this past year, and they are so cute. I haven't really worn them too, too much, so I definitely need to continue to break them in, but I really love these shoes. I think they're very cute. I used to have a pair just like this. When I was younger, I was really into cowboy boots and stuff, um, and so these, to me, just feel like an elevated version of a cowboy boot, which I know cowboy boots are like really popular again. They're definitely not my style anymore, but these for me felt like a more elevated version of that. Moving up, I have on these green tights. I've really been getting into colorful tights. Ever since I did that Twee video, I've been so excited about colorful tights. So I got these on Amazon and they're just the most comfortable. I mean, they're definitely not like, you know, rip proof tights. They're not like, you know, super expensive fancy ones, but they're pretty high quality and honestly the most comfortable tights I've ever owned. So um, very, very, very happy with this purchase. They're just a really nice foresty green color and I've been really playing with sort of matching tights. There's definitely something to contrasting tights and I think that's really fun too, but matching tights feels kind of fun and underplayed. So I've been playing a little bit more with that lately. On that note, moving up, I have on this green and white floral dress. I thrifted this a few weeks ago from the Goodwill as well. This is originally from the Shein Plus section. It is a slight bit too big, but I think that it gives a really beautiful effect, specifically on the 
sleeve area it makes them look a little bit more floaty i do think i still want to alter the bust area a little bit just bring it in a slight bit because i think it's a little bit oversized um, and maybe not in the best way but i do really like the dress i think that the silhouette is really really cute it's got that tiered prairie look and yeah, it's just like a very simple cute everyday kind of look for me as well um, for accessories, I have on my Northern Lights through the windows earrings that I actually made, decided I didn't like them enough to sell, but they were cute enough for me to keep. I also have on my little fairy necklace that is also from my Etsy shop. That's the Once Upon a Fairy necklace. And then finally, I have on this braided peach headband that I got from Target and I just think it's a really fun pop of color in an otherwise pretty dark colored outfit. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know which of these outfits was your favorite. I think my favorite is the pinafore skirt with the uh, Peter Pan colored white blouse. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these looks is your favorite because I actually am genuinely curious and want to know. Anyway, I think that's all I really have for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe down below. Again, it's totally free and I'll let you know when I upload new videos, which is every single Wednesday. Feel free to check me out on social media if you'd like. I am pretty active over on Instagram and becoming more active on TikTok every day. Um, even though I really need to like reel it back on TikTok because it's really, it can like suck you in and then suck the life out of you. So I really need to like dial it back, I think, with TikTok. <laughs> and I'm not really even on it that much. Uh, anyway, I love you guys so, so very much. And don't forget, it costs absolutely nothing to be kind. So be kind to yourself and others. I'll see you next week. Bye.